Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace brake booster vacuum line. I have a Saab 95 2007 Aero. So I'm going to show you how to replace the brake booster vacuum line. So this is the brake booster vacuum line. That's how it looks like. It has two check valves on it. One it goes to the engine manifold. The other one, one goes to the mechanical vacuum pump, which is right there. The part number of this part is 5331095. And this is the part number if your car is automatic. I repeat, it's 5331095. So if your car is manual, so your pipe most probably is different. So, so don't buy this part number if it's manual. So right now, I'm gonna show you what happens if the, if the vacuum pipe breaks down all of a sudden when you when you're driving so for example you're driving all of a sudden the vacuum pipe pops out or breaks down it cracks i'm gonna show you what happens before i change the vacuum pump for example the car is running you are on the highway or you are on the road and all of a sudden the pipe pops off. So look what happens to the engine. So it's going, the idling is very rough right now. So if you put drive, most probably the car is gonna stall. So if you have this kind of symptom while, while driving your Saab 95, first thing is you have to check is this Brake booster valve. As you see, when I put it back, the idle stabilizer it stabilizes itself. So now I'm gonna show you how to replace that. Okay, for this job, first you have to to push under on the, on the locking plastic over here and push the pipe out. So I'm gonna push on the plastic and push the pipe out. See how it came out? Same thing I'm gonna do over there, the, the one on the manifold. Gonna push on the plastic, I push the pipe out. So the only place left now is at the, the booster. This is where the it's fitted at the booster. There is a rubber grommet here. So that, that's where it's fitted. So I'm gonna use a screwdriver, a big one like this, to pry between the, the grommet and the, the pipe to take it out. This is the booster. I'm gonna put the screwdriver and pry it out. Same time, try to push the pipe out. It came out, so we're gonna just slide it out from its place. So that's how you take it out. So I'm gonna put the new one in. I'm gonna put some some grease over here. It's kind of rusty. It was rusty the booster. It was a little bit hard to come out, but shouldn't be a problem to put it in. So I'm gonna slide this side first in, 
under the booster. As you see, almost there. So push on the plastic right here, the plastic tube. So it went in. So the other side is gonna go into the plastic over here. Just push it in. When you push it in, it locks, it shouldn't go back. As you see, it doesn't go back. If it goes back, it means your lock is uh, your lock is broken or something. We have to change the lock. And the only place left now is this part over here. You're gonna push it in, push it down all the way. So that's it, guys. That's how you change the booster vacuum line.